All right. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Can folks hear me OK? Yeah? OK, great. All right. My name is David Seidman. I'm a PM on the Azure Monitor team. And today we're going to talk about uh, monitoring virtual machines. So I want to start with just a minute on Azure Monitor uh, so that we're level set on where this all fits. So this week, we're launching Azure Monitor as um, the single unified home for monitoring in Azure. So uh, unified monitoring includes log analytics, platform monitoring, application insights, OMS solutions, all as part of Azure Monitor um, with integrated, um, integrated pricing uh, and integrated experiences. Uh, Azure Monitor also includes, you can see here, data-driven insights, including machine learning that's powered by log analytics. Uh, and workflow integrations with your SIEM tools, with DevOps pipelines, um, with ITSM tools, and troubleshooting. So within unified monitoring, this includes visualization, analysis, integration, and at the top of the stack, insights for key scenarios for applications and for um, high value resources. So you can see we have uh, application insights, we have Azure Monitor for containers, and what we're launching in public preview this week is Azure Monitor for, for VMs. So again, this is in public preview. I'll talk a little about the kinds of problems we, we want to solve, the, the, the input we've been hearing from customers. Uh, if you have these kinds of problems, uh, this is for you. And we'll show you how we're solving these in the demo. So at a high level, you know, we want to solve some of these core monitoring, monitoring needs, you know, clearly disambiguating between issues in the VM or issues in Azure. A lot of emphasis on guest level visibility, so guest level um, services, resources, connectivity, workload context, and finding issues at scale. So what we'll see is uh, visibility to VMs within one resource group. Uh, so let's say one critical deployment of an application or app tier. VMs at scale. So if you have, let's say, thousands of VMs, we want to make it easy for you, you know, even across subscriptions, even across a hybrid deployment, to see which ones are the most constrained. Uh, and we want to make it easy to see connectivity. So some of these inputs, these are real customer quotes, uh, anonymized here. Uh, just very quickly being able to get a monitoring view. You know, very quickly being able to see which workloads may be associated with excessive network activity and really just solving some of these core issues around very quickly diagnosing issues with uh, resource utilization and resource, resource capacity, uh, including, including connectivity. So this is what we're after in this public preview. And the way this is organized, and again, we'll look at this in detail in the demo, is really three, three pillars of monitoring. So one is health visibility. If you're uh, an existing or previous customer of System Center Operations Manager, some of what we'll look at will be familiar here. Uh, so this includes uh, health, mo uh, health modeling, uh, near real-time visibility, health diagnostics that are on by default. So you turn on Azure Monitor for VMs, and the monitoring is curated, and it's enabled by default. And we're investing in uh, more configurability around that. And critically here, when you find issues, you can link to knowledge base articles. So even if you come in or you have members of your team who may not have expertise about how to resolve every issue, we're curating a growing set of knowledge base articles that you can use for, for your diagnosis. And this is all integrated with, with Azure Alerts. The second pillar we see here is just sort of core performance monitoring. So here what we're looking at is, you know, even let's say at scale, we have VMs from Azure, VMs uh, from on-prem. You could have VMs even from another cloud uh, connecting into uh, this workspace. And at scale, we can see, uh, again, top-end views, isolate hotspots, uh, drill and drill-through diagnostics that we'll look at uh, when we get to, the, get to the demo. And the third major pillar is connectivity. So uh, if some of you have used uh, OMS service map in the past, this is the same infrastructure powering this under the hood, the same solution, but it's now really you know, modernized in a first class way for Azure. So we'll see that integrated with Azure Monitor, again, resource group insights, the Azure VM Blade with richer metadata and richer awareness of Azure, um, Azure itself. Uh, and you'll see things here also that are new like 
uh, more connectivity metrics and more integration with, with log analytics. And the key scenarios here are you know, really getting sort of a visual, visual canvas for what your environment looks like, validating that things are connected in the way that you intend for, th for them to be connected, uh, and getting into diagnostics about exactly how those workloads are, are talking to each other. We want to make it very easy to onboard. So you can onboard in basically three ways. Uh, we'll look again in the demo at, um, oops, let's log me out. At uh, onboarding from one Azure virtual machine. So if you come into to Azure VMs, we'll show you that you can onboard and uh, try Azure Monitor for VMs, even for just one or two VMs. You can onboard through PowerShell at scale. And really, the best recommended way is through Azure Policy, which we'll also look at. So we have built-in monitoring policies for existing and new VMs, uh, remediation policies that as you get comfortable and you, know, you like the capabilities, you want this to be on hundreds or thousands of VMs and make sure that it's installed reliably, Azure Policy is the recommended way to do that. OK, so let me go ahead and switch over to the demo. All right, so we're looking at Azure Monitor. Um, if you haven't used Azure Monitor before, you can find it through your all services list, or most likely it's pinned in your navigation here. And under Azure Monitor, you'll find an overview with some tutorials. You'll find uh, your core monitoring essentials like alerts, metrics, logs, and platform health. And under Insights, we have virtual machines. And again, this is now in public preview launched just over the past few days. So the first thing we'll show is health. So we've selected here uh, a resource group that's important to us, this Contoso Azure HQ resource group. We can see that we have two, uh, two VMs that are in critical condition. We can also see that we have a SEV1 alert associated with these VMs. And on this home page, we can really drill uh, just at a glance, see how these issues are distributed across operating system, see how they're distributed across component health for critical VM resources, and also core services. So as you see here, things like firewall, DNS are being monitored um, by the health system. If we look at performance, and again, here we're, we're at scale. In this case, we've selected CPU. We can search for VMs. And this is showing us a top end list. Uh, again, this could sort over, over thousands of VMs across region, across workspace, or uh, um, uh, across subscription, including on-prem and you can find your, your, uh, your constrained VM. So in this case, we see the Contosa Web 1 VM seems to have some fluctuating CPU, and we'll, we'll come back to that. And again, the last pillar here is mapping. So in this case, what I've done is selected a VM scale set. Uh, so to step back for a second, uh, the health capability today works for Azure VMs. Uh, performance and mapping capabilities work for Azure VMs, scale sets, and also on-prem environments. So you can really get started um, wherever you are. So here we're looking at a scale set. This is, we can see how clients are connecting in uh, to different services. For each instance of the scale set, we can see details about um, exactly how it's configured. We can get details also about things like update domains and fault domains, operating system versions. So really getting that exact metadata about your environment. And that's also accessible from, from the other views. So let's go ahead and uh, look back at health. We saw those two critical issues. So I'm going to click through to those to see which, which VMs need attention. And it's a little small here, but we can see we've got the Contosa Web 1 and the Jump Box. You can see details about their tags, exactly where they are. And I'm going to drill more into this Contoso Web 1 machine. And what this is doing is linking us now into the Azure VM blade. So again, you may want to inspect the configuration through that linkage point for, from health. Of course, you, you, know, you can certainly inspect networking or security. But this is going to land you right into uh, Azure Monitor for, for VMs within that one VM. Uh, and you can access this at any time, again, if you if you go to the monitoring section of the VM blade, uh, you'll see insights there, which is preloaded here when we, um, when we click through. And we can see in this environment, we have uh, our resource health is green. So Azure's, Azure itself is not the source of the issue here. We want to be able to clearly rule that out to see whether it's in the cloud platform or whether it's in the guest or whether it's elsewhere. 
and we can see that we have a disk and a memory issue that need attention. So if I click into the memory issue, this will show us the details of the health criteria. We can see percentage of memory in use, available uh, megabytes are both having issues. And if I click through to some additional details here, here's where I can get to threshold configuration, some additional details about, about the issue. And if I wish to, I can link through to the knowledge base article. So there's a rich set of knowledge base articles, growing set of knowledge base articles for these issues as they get, as they get flagged. And in fact, um, as this issue got, got generated, um, it generated an SMS and also an email to me on my phone. So again, this is all based on a real-time monitoring pipeline um, for these issues. Now, within the individual VM blade, we saw that we had some constrained memory. We saw that we had uh, also, I think, some, some disk health issues. And drilling down now onto, again, we're within the VM blade. To configure this, we set up Azure Policy, which deployed an agent to the VM, which set up a log analytics workspace with the appropriate solution. And then the counters are configured, the data, and the data is flowing, and these are out of the box views. So we can see here per logical disk, where we have pot potentially capacity issues, the size of the disk, IOPS, and latency, again, down to the logical disk level within, within the guest. And we can see at a glance what's going on with other critical guest metrics, uh, CPU, memory, uh, and other, other metrics here about um, uh, data transmitted and, and latency. Uh, and in fact, you know, we were seeing that, that memory issue. We can see that uh, available memory, we have some, some capacity, but we can see it's starting to dip as we get to this point, which is what triggered, triggered the event. So you can look at the performance trending, and you can look at the sort of high-level health indicator, and it's configurable and can uh, tie into notifications. Now, we also want to get a little more diagnostics here. So we know we had some, some disk issues. We know we, had, we see an increase in CPU. We have a drop in memory. Another thing that we're launching this, this week is this integration with performance diagnostics. So this is uh, an existing tool, but it, it, it was more integrated with some backend support tools and a thick client. Now this is a first class part of uh, the Azure VM Blade that's linked to from Azure, um, Azure Monitor for VMs. And what performance diagnostics allow you to do is to get very deep root cause on VMs that are having issues. So in this case, we can select to do an analysis, uh, an advanced analysis that may collect more data, a file analysis. And if you're having trouble resolving an issue on your own, even with some of these new advanced capabilities, and you're working with uh, Microsoft support, you can tie in your support request number. And this will associate it back to support. You can download a report and share it with them. So this is intended to really also streamline that connectivity with, with support. We'd run one of these earlier. Takes a couple minutes to run, so I'll show you one that was preloaded from the previous issue. And as we come into performance diagnostics, we can see even more insights here. So we see you know, details about exactly what's going on with the CPU. And in this case, we can get down even further to that workload. So we can see the workload connectivity with the maps. We can see workload and VM health with the health views. We can see overall performance with the performance views, and now Drilling even deeper, we can see these very detailed messages about unexpected CPU and drill into even more knowledge base articles. In this case, uh, a very specific knowledge base article that exists around an issue that was automatically detected. So we looked at one VM. We looked at scale. The last thing we'll drill into is how this also complements new resource group monitoring. So if I click here from, to resource group monitoring, this is now integrated with the resource group blade itself. So on the resource group blade, uh, you'll see another insights tab now integrated consistently under the monitoring table of contents. We can see how different resources are performing, active alerts and health issues. And from here, we can look at uh, uh, information from application insights. I'll show you, we can look at issues around storage and SQL. And we also can see 
Here's application insights. I won't get into the, the detailed scenario there, but in this way, if we have a resource group that, again, is representing an important tier of your application uh, or an overall application, you can see how the app is doing there. And if I look at virtual machine map there under topology, or if I investigate more through performance, this will load up those same consistent views that Azure Monitor VM has for one VM, for you know, VMs at, let's say, at scale of thousands, or in this case, just for this one resource group. Um, and again, here I can see the top end charts. So for this one resource group now, I can see details about which VMs are contributing the most. Since this resource group may have VMs that are all responsible for the same job, uh, maybe they're part of, let's say, a SQL cluster or a set of domain controllers, it may be very valuable to be able to see uh, how they're performing in the aggregate. So among this set of VMs, what's the max CPU that was achieved? Or what's the average memory for this set of VMs? So you can do analysis now, again, for your individual VMs at scale or for these important sets of VMs. And again, you can go to topology map here for this, for this one VM. Uh, almost out of time, I'll show you again a little more about onboarding. I talked about the Azure VM Blade. This is a VM that's not onboarded to Azure Monitor for VMs. When you arrive here, you'll see a screen that looks like this, gives you a little, bit, a little blurb. And again, without setting anything else up, you can click Try Now for this one VM. You see an overview of the capabilities. In this case, this VM is already connected to Log Analytics. All I need to do is click Enable, and it'll install the appropriate configuration on the machine. If this machine wasn't in any way managed by Log Analytics or any other, any other monitoring tools in Azure, um, it would prompt you to select the Log Analytics workspace, and you could point it to your favorite workspace if you already have one that you're using, let's say, for centralized monitoring. You could point it to that, and it would, it would enable it from there. And the other key capability we talked about was policy. Um, so again, here we're, we're in Azure Policy. We have built-in um, uh, built policies. And if you go to our, our documentation, you can see details about exactly how to enable this. Um, you can use this provided PowerShell script um, to complete the task. And then as you look back at policy, we can see exactly which VMs may be non-compliant for being enabled for Azure Monitor um, for VMs. So again, just to recap, uh, Azure Monitor for VMs gives you uh, connectivity information, health information, performance information, um, all onboarded through, through a click in the VM blade uh, or using Azure Policy or PowerShell. And you then achieve these, these curated views of your guest level performance, your workload connectivity, and your health signals you know, already integrated with, um, with Azure Alerts. Let me flip back here. We've got, I think, one minute left. If there's any questions, otherwise uh, folks can feel free to ask questions. We've got some other teammates in the back who can answer some questions. And, you know, please let us know what you think. And again, you can find this today uh, either through Azure Monitor or through the Azure VM Blade, or you can, you can find our documentation under Azure Monitor.